Yeah, they all were found guilty of, I believe it was obstruction or uh, killed, uh, one found guilty of conspiracy to witness tamper. As you mentioned, a lot of they they initially falsified reports, which unfortunately in many police departments, in many instances happens. But when these cases come to light, there's often video that contradicts what the official line is and what everyone, again, the, the code of silence, what other colleagues and coworkers fall in line with other officers to agree that this is what happened. And, it, you know, it wasn't what was what, what the victims are saying. But in this case, the sentencing is scheduled it's for January. And of course, they also are facing state murder charges. What do you hope will happen coming out of this? You also have a civil case, but what do you hope can happen in terms of sentencing? The federal government is also investigating the Memphis Police Department. They may come under some sort of consent decree. What do you hope will happen? Well, Leanne, my hope is that we will see equal justice for Tyree Nichols. And that is whatever the judge would have sentenced Tyree Nichols, this young black man, had he beat down and brutally engaged in excessive force against a police officer, what would have been his sentence? Well, we want the exact same sentence. We don't think that you should be treated special or have preferential treatment because you have a gun and a badge. No, what our community wants to see is equal justice under the law. Don't treat them with any more consideration than you treat our young black and brown brothers and sisters every day of the week. So that's what we expect to see in sentencing. And the state attorney, the elected district attorney there in Memphis has already told the family and my legal team that if the federal court does not sentence them appropriately, then we're waiting and ready to go forward with our state charges of second degree murder and lesser included charges. And so the family is very relieved that Tyree Nichols' death isn't being swept under the rug, that we're going to continue the fight until we can get full justice. That is convictions in the felony case, convictions in the state case, as well as accountability in the civil action for his son, who is now going to grow up without his father. And you filed a $550 million civil rights case. Uh, what, what's, the, where is, what's the status of that? Come well, we, we certainly plan on sending a message because these officers, I mean, it seemed like had Tyree not died, this would have been business as usual. And we have several other black citizens come forward and say, they did it to me too. And so we are operating under that premise that what we see on that video was not an uh, independent uh, act. It was part of a pattern of violations of constitutional rights of citizens, especially citizens of color. And so right now, the matter had been stayed pending the criminal case, but the judge let us do what we call discovery, and we were working up the case uh, in anticipation that the criminal matter would be uh, completed. Therefore, we could then go forward for our civil matter with no delay. And so he's been allowing us to do discovery and take depositions of everybody except the officers because they have their rights against uh, self-incrimination. And when you look at this video, it's hard to not see self-incrimination just on the video alone. 